Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to basically open and close doors to bots um, in regards to your website. So um, you have a website and there are certain pages that you want the search engines to find. For example, search engines. It could be any bot, but um, primarily this is done for search engines. So you have some pages that you want them to find, some pages you don't want them to find. Um, you have your money pages you definitely want them to find. Um, then you have some pages that are just useless. Um, you know, it might slow down your crawl rate, might cause other issues. They're just useless pages, so you don't want them to find them. For example, you could have other reasons. That's just, you know, that's one reason. Um, and then you also have links on your website that maybe you don't want to um, pass, you know, authority on to that to that link, or maybe you don't want Google or Bing or whatever to associate you with that link because if you link out to another website. Uh, if you don't use the no follow attribute, they're going to associate, you know, they're going to make the connection. It's kind of, you know, they're like, you know, these people are friends. This guy recommends this, uh, this page, for example. So there are many different reasons why you might use it. Um, but this vid in this video, I'm just going to show you what your options are and how to implement them. So <clears throat> there are basically three different options and different variations within each option. Um, so I'll just quickly go through each one. So the first is a meta no follow. And a meta no follow. Um, is added as a meta tag, which is inside your head um, of your web of each page of your website, and this this goes on a page by page basis. So if you use this, you would it would need to be added to every single page that you want to use it on. In other words, you can't you know add it to one file and it work for your entire site. It only works for the specific page that you add it to. Okay, so and this is exactly what it looks like. This is three different versions of it. <clears throat> um, you would only use one of these different versions on your pages, um, but I just I put them all three here just to show you. So <clears throat> the first one says, "Hey robots, <laughs> you know uh, the Google bot or whatever it is. Robots is uh, works for all bots. Um, it says, "Hey, uh, do not index or follow this page." So if you had this in your on your page. Google Bing and any other bot will ignore your page. Any other bot that follows that, um, you know, I'm sure there are spam, um, you know, bad bots out there that don't really care. But all legitimate search engines, etc., are going to follow this. So what this tells them is, do not index this page. That's what the no index um, command right here says. It says do not index it. In other words, do not include it in your index. So don't, you know, don't record it basically. So act like it never existed. That's what that tells them, and then the no follow tells them, uh, and also don't follow the links on this page. Just completely ignore it. That's that's basically what this command right here says. Act like the page that you're on uh, never existed, and that's what Google Bing and any other legitimate bot um, will do when they see that command. Okay, so <laughs> if you want that page to be indexed in Google, you do not want to have this on there. But if it's a page that you don't want the search engines to find for whatever reason, um, then you do want that on there. Okay, and then this one right here, you would add this one if you if you don't want it indexed to, for example, to be shown in their search results, but you do want the links um, to be followed. So if they see this, they're going to say, okay, we're not going to put this in our index, so we're not going to record it, but we are going to go ahead and follow through the links that are on that page. So that's what this command means, and then this one is the opposite. It means we will index the page, but we will not follow the links on the page. Okay, so you know, and like I said, there's all kinds of different reasons why you might use this. I'm not going to go through every single scenario, um, but I just want you to know exactly what each one of these are and what they do. So that's the meta no follow. So that's one option. Okay, and then second, you have the robots. Dot text. Now, in your robots.txt is a file that you can add to your website. You don't have to have one, um, and it's and you add it to the root of your site. So it would be you know mysite.com/robots.txt. R O B O T S dot T X T. And basically, it's just a blank um, initially a blank Notepad document, just a blank page with no code or anything in it. Um, and it includes, and you can do several different commands in it, but for this specific use, you would do this. Uh, and this right here, this is just some reference. So this tells all bots to follow the entire site. I'm going to delete that to uh, remove any confusion. So this is exactly what I have highlighted here is what you would have in your, in your robots.txt file. And what this says is user agent, the star means it's like a wild card. It means all user agents, all bots, everything. 
and then this is the command. So this uh, specifies who you're talking to, who the you know robots.txt is talking to, and it's saying anyone who's reading this, any bot that reads this by the star, if you knew the specific name of the bot you're addressing, you can put it like Google bot, whatever it is. And then this just says, this is the command. So this is who I'm talking to, and this is what I want you to do. So this is saying disallow, um, and it's blank. So that means disallow nothing. So in other words, this is saying you can, uh, you know, index the entire site, you know, do nothing, just basically, you know, it basically just gives them permission to go ahead and follow your site, index it, do whatever they want. <clears throat> um, so that's what that user agent is. Um, it's really kind of pointless, actually, to have that. Some people do use it. Um, I think years ago, maybe it helped in some way. I don't know, but it's basically useless anymore. If you're going to have that in your robots.txt, you might as well not even have a robots.txt, but it doesn't hurt. It certainly doesn't hurt to have it. So anyway, that's what that does. Um, and then this right here tells them tells this does the same thing but it says to ignore the entire site so this says disallow and since it's not blank as this one was blank this one has a, a forward slash so this says everything past that forward slash and what it means by that is my site dot com slash and it's basically that okay it's basically everything past that just ignore the or actually it's saying the entire site it's saying just ignore the entire site so um, even the home page because the home page is always an index you know it's either index.html or index.php so every file on your website is past this forward slash so it's saying everything past this forward slash which is your entire site disallow if you got rid of the dis and just put allow then that would mean the same as this okay um, because it's disallow nothing okay so this says disallow the entire site Alright, so those are those two options, and then you also have this, and I just added this just to show you kind of like uh, what a lot of people use it for. So, for instance, if you have a WordPress site, a couple directories that you that are just kind of pointless to have indexed in Google are WordPress admin and WordPress includes. So a lot of people will go ahead and disallow WordPress admin, disallow WordPress includes, and that will disallow those directories and everything in them. So that way you don't have to worry about canonical URLs, you know, uh, duplicate content. Um, uh, you know directories that just are 100 percent useless to the search engine so um, those are a couple good examples if you have WordPress sites you might want to add that to your robots.txt file okay so that's the robots.txt file and like I said there's all different you know uses for that and you can disallow any page on your website allow your entire site you know just there's a lot of different options there so you know I wish I could get into every single different option but like I said there's just so many different options in all three of these I just want to kind of give you a, a high level overview of how to uh, disallow pages links and um, your entire site if you want to all right, so that's the robots.txt, and then the last one is the rel equals nofollow attribute, and this is appended to um, link code. So on your specific page or wherever, um, whatever you're doing, um, whenever you have a link, any link at all, you can append this uh, rel equals nofollow attribute right here, which I have highlighted. So this is just a regular normal link. So if you if you added this code right here, if you copied it and pasted it onto a, a page, any web page on the internet it would show this anchor text JL affiliates and that anchor text would be linked to jlaffiliates.com okay so that's just standard regular link code okay but this this is the same code plus the rel equals no follow attribute and what this is saying is I am not associated with this website I am but <laughs> I'm using that as an example um, and I do not want you to follow that so whenever Google or Bing sees this rel equals no follow attribute <laughs> Um, it's basically the same as if that if the page contained this meta no index no follow tag it's it's equivalent to that it just says just leave it alone just forget about it don't follow it don't index it just uh, just ignore it just ignore this link so a rel equals no follow attribute this is what I use the most for any affiliate link I, I added a rel equals no follow to it um, any external link for a page that I don't know a whole lot about um, any page that could possibly be a gray area could possibly be black hat of course I don't want to be linking out to that anyway but you know you never know what the situation is what you're linking to um, comments in blogs that's why a lot of blog comments are no follow because you can't uh, 
you know you can't always uh, you know you don't always know the people who are commenting on your blog you don't know the quality of their website you don't know if it's associated with spam so if Google comes to your blog and they see all these comments and all these links um, pointing to all these external sites and some of them are black hat then they're going to as associate your blog with those black hat sites for example so and that's why um, no follow is a lot of time uh, that's the default they, they add the rail no follow attribute to the comment links by default in a lot of blogs and that's why um, so and that's one example of the use of rail equals no follow but like I said I use it for all my affiliate links and any other questionable links on my website that point out to someone else's website I use that and also you should use this for and it doesn't you know it's not like a down you know a thumbs down for that website it's not saying this is a bad website or you know it's not like you're you're telling Google that it's a bad website. You're not at all. There's nothing at all wrong with using it. So you can actually use it for any duplicate content on your website. Like in WordPress, for example, um, you have all of your posts individually and then you also have those same posts will show up in other canonical directories. So you could no follow those other directories, for example. Um, that way Google doesn't see a bunch of duplicate content. So you know that's just one of many examples like I said again um, there's all different kinds of uses for it but that's kinda what I've used it for um, and so that's a couple examples there but hopefully this video has helped you if you weren't quite sure um, what the no index uh, what no index is what it's used for etc as, as well as robots um, hopefully this has shed some light on that thanks